Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Encrypted. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having yourselves one amazing day, just like always. And guys, in today's video, as I'm sure you saw by the title, today we're going to be doing another seed showcase video. Guys, the seed I'm going to be showing you guys today is actually a pretty cool one I found. It's mixed with different biomes and stuff, but basically the focal point of this, in my opinion, is a mushroom island. You actually spawn practically on a uh, mushroom island it's kind of like mixed with like a plains in a way the spawn point but it's a really cool area that you spawn it's very safe obviously if you didn't know mushroom biomes have zero mobs spawn in them they don't spawn in mushroom biomes so it's a very safe place to start your night for sure and uh, I just think it's a really cool seed and like I said there's tons of other biomes scattered all around this the mushroom island is in the center of the map basically so at some point in the video you'll see my map when I'm done with it but there's actually tons of biomes just totally laying on the outskirts of the map and I mean like when I say different biomes I mean totally different like we're talking on one one island is like well one end is a uh, you know savanna biome and a desert biome the other one is like a spruce biome and a uh, snow biome or like an arctic biome it's really cool it's a really nice seed you guys are going to like it for sure i even found a coral reef at one point in this where there was like a sunken ship in it as well so there's some early game loot to be had as well but you guys will like it i promise you will and if you do enjoy it by the way make sure you leave a like guys i'd really appreciate it if you did leave a like it always helps out the video you guys know i appreciate it more than anything but uh, something I'd appreciate even more is if you are new, make sure you subscribe. Guys, I say it every video, we are grinding to 1K, but right now it has more meaning than it ever has before. We are actually very close to 1,000 subscribers. We're at 931 right now as we speak, 931. If like 69, as funny as that is, if like 69 more of you could subscribe right now, that'd be freaking amazing. We'd literally blow past our goal and last but not least, guys, if you do have any recommendations for the next seed showcase, if there's a seed you want to see in the future, let me know what you want in the comments below. I always check those. I appreciate any recommendations. You guys usually have some really good suggestions, and uh, I'm very interested to know what you guys want to see, so let me know. But anyways, guys, let's get into this video. All right, so guys, to get on this seed, all you need to do is go into the seed title box, whatever it's called, type in the seed very cold. It's all lowercase, no spaces, no capitalization or anything like that. It's V-E-R-Y-C-O-L-D, very cold. And again, I should have it up on the screen right now for you guys to read. If you wanna pause the video and type that bad boy in, you are more than welcome to. But assuming you already have it typed in, let's get into what you'll actually spawn on. So once you type in this seed and you spawn in, you should notice that you spawn pretty much right in front of a mushroom island kind of thing. Uh, you'll see like the mushroom trees, you'll see like the mushroom cows wandering around, and uh, you'll know right away, you're like, oh cool, mushroom biome. And then if you look to your, actually I believe if you look to your right, I think, I could be wrong, I forget how I spawned in, but I think if you look to your right, you'll see that you're actually in a plains biome. You're actually in a plains biome, you spawn technically in the plains biome, but it's literally just a few feet away from the mushroom biome. So it's basically in the mushroom biome, but yeah, you actually spawn in a plains biome. There's one single tree that spawns to your right, I believe. So you can tear that thing down as soon as you get there, quickly take the saplings, plant a few trees, uh, and then go explore the mushroom biome, which by the way, this mushroom biome is really cool because it's not massive or anything. Like it's definitely not small, but it's not massive. I'd say it's medium size uh, in my opinion. But uh, there's a lot of different like caves here. I found a few caves here that go deeper in the gate into the ground. Why am I having a hard time speaking right now? I apologize, it's early. Um, but yeah, you're gonna find some caves here, which is some uh, early game coal, early game iron. Maybe go even deeper and find you know more rare items like diamonds at some point. You can also find mushroom cows, mushrooms, whatever you want to call them, uh, which are going to be a good source of early game food. If you actually make some bowls early on, you can actually milk these cows, these mushrooms, and you can get uh, stew, like mushroom stew. And speaking of mushroom stew, there's obviously tons of mushroom trees laying around. You can also make mushroom stew using those if you want. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here for early game food. And the best thing is, for those of you who didn't know, that uh, basically mushroom biomes cannot spawn mobs, hostile mobs. Hostile mobs do not spawn in mushroom biomes. They are perfectly safe. There's no mo no mobs, hostile mobs spawning here. So that means if it's like dark out, if it's like nighttime, 
you don't have to worry about hostile mobs spawning on you, which is really good for early game because obviously early game you don't have armor really, you don't have tons of food, you don't have tons of time, but with the mushroom biome it's totally free reign. There's no worries at all to be had about mobs. And like I said before, this mushroom biome is definitely the focal point of this seed because you literally spawn on it practically and they're kind of rare, but this is actually not the only good thing in the seed. Like I said, there's all kinds of other things in the seed, all kinds of other biomes that are to be found that are actually even better in some people's opinion, I'm sure, um, which we're going to get into. We'll go through all of them. I'll try to just quickly briefly show you some gameplay, talk about what I found and, you know, call it a day. So let's start with the desert biome. I actually found a desert biome and a savanna biome. They were kind of mixed together. Uh, you see that pretty often, or at least I do anyways, but they were kind of mixed together. And in the desert biome, I found a village. Now, this is the only village I actually found that was relatively close to the spawn point. And uh, basically to get here, you go through the plains biome that you spawn on, and then I believe you actually cross over into the desert right away. And then if you just head to the right a good bit, uh, eventually you will cross the uh, area where this village is and in this village there wasn't anything that special really there's it was a pretty small one as well but I did see an iron golem and uh, actually that's about it I looked for a blacksmith I didn't see any blacksmith or anything so maybe if you want at some point you can improve this village maybe if you want uh, you could barter with these guys a little bit you know shut up, set up shop nearby but uh, yeah there's a village here pretty cool nice to have now, next to this village, or in front of it technically, uh, in front of the desert biome, there's actually an ocean. And in this ocean, I found a coral reef. I actually found a ton of coral, and uh, you'll even see a ship, a sunken ship, kind of jutting out of the water a bit. You'll see the top of it just sticking out of the water. And uh, in case you didn't know, sunken ships are really good sources of early game loot. And the best thing is, this one is very close to the water's surface, which means your risk of drowning while trying to get the treasure is greatly reduced than normal. Usually these ships are very low to the you know ground they're very deep underwater so it's like if you don't have respiration if you don't have water breathing potions you're prone to dying from drowning but with this one that was not the case at all and uh, I did only find one chest in it but there could be another one I didn't check that much but yeah you can go ahead and check this out if you want like I said there's coral reefs here as well it's literally on a coral reef coral reefs are very nice to build with I think people like those so uh, go ahead and check that out as well and of course the primary thing on this map is going to be ocean you guys understand how you know this game loves water there's tons of oceans everywhere but eventually if you swim far enough uh to the other end of the map you're going to end up wandering into an arctic biome there's an arctic biome and uh what i mean by arctic is like pretty much all the above there's like a snow biome there's like a snowy mountain biome there's an iceberg biome I mean, there's those weird ice pillar biomes, whatever you want to call those. I mean, it has it all. It's like a full-on Arctic biome, which looks really pretty. But uh, other than that, I don't know what purpose it really has. You can get some snow, I guess. You get snowballs for late game whenever you go to fight the dragon or go to fight blazes. Uh, but other than that, that's really about it when it comes to the snow biome. It just looks very, very pretty. Now, if we head back to the spawn island where the mushroom island is, if you head straight forward, uh, you know, across from the mushroom biome, you're actually going to cross over into a little bit of a uh, oak forest. I, I think it was an oak forest, and it's kind of like on a weird mountain looking thing. It's kind of like on a mountain island in a way, and it's a basically an oak forest. So you guys can get some early game oak trees if you want. You can t tear down a ton of those, bring them back to the plains biome that you spawn at if you want, plant on a sapling so you have them there. Uh, it's totally up to you, but it looks nice to look at. And then in the uh, same area, if you cross over from the forest into the next one, there's actually a spruce forest. I don't know if this is a taiga. I think it's just a, a spruce forest. I don't think it's big enough to be a taiga. I could be wrong. I don't know much about the differences, but basically, I believe these are spruce trees. It's a spruce tree forest. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think it did end up crossing over into an Extreme Hills biome, which Extreme Hills biomes are pretty cool. I think they look really good. And uh, there's obviously lots of ores to be found there, lots of coal exposed at the top, some iron and stuff like that. And you can even find emeralds deep in there if you didn't know that. That's, you know, how emeralds spawn. You can find them deep underground. So, uh, you know, that's cool to have as well. But yeah, other than that, I think that was about it when it comes to the uh, biomes in this seed. I didn't really find anything that spectacular besides that. I do think this is pretty spectacular, though, because spawning in the center of the, uh, you know, the map with 
basically a mushroom island right there and in a plains biome that's like the most perfect spawn you could ever have you've got one island which is just totally safe no mobs at all it's literally an island so there's nothing that's even going to be crossing over into it it's just water uh so you have this mushroom island and then you've got a plains biome a fully exposed just pretty much uh you know i don't want to say barren but it is kind of barren you just this totally exposed barren land that you spawn in and uh, you can plant trees there and stuff use you know it looks pretty to build on it's flat and then if you cross you know all the way past the plains biome you can end up in a desert you can end up in a savanna biome if you want to swim from the mushroom island over to the you know oak forest and the spruce forest you can if you want to go deeper into the world and explore the extreme hills biome we found you can do that as well or if you want to swim from the opposite end of the island you can go to another island which is a desert island you could do that if you want to swim uh, you know upwards north you know up to the uh, arctic biome you can do that as well the possibilities are totally endless i mean there's a lot to be done here and uh, i think this was a really cool seed to showcase but anyways guys i do hope you guys enjoyed this commentary i know i was probably a bit off here and there and stuttered a good bit it's very early in the morning it's only like 9 40 in the morning uh, so I'm still a little tired, waking up a little bit, getting in the groove, and, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is, it happens, but, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless, and like I said before at the beginning of the video, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, let me know if you guys end up using the seed, I actually am very curious to know what you guys do with these seeds, if you guys actually try them, I think this is definitely one of the best ones you could play on, just because of all the biomes, as I said before, I think it's a very nice early game spawn point as well, so there's that. But uh, also guys, if you are new to this channel, as I said before, make sure you guys subscribe because like I said, we're on our way to 1k. We're very, very close to it right now. We only need about 70 subscribers as of right now. We only need about 70 subs to uh, get to 1k and I really want to get there. Guys, I've literally been dreaming of hitting 1k ever since I made this channel and I can't believe we're actually going to do it. It looks like it's going to happen. So like I said, if you're new, subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. But anyways, guys, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys liked the seed showcase. And like I said before, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys have any, any recommendations for the future of seed showcase. If you guys want to see any specific seeds, let me know. Anyways, guys, hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!